Andreas and Hazel as well. She's just rushing into the B side with the op and changing the meta how it is played. Using it like a rifle, like an AK. Just jumping around, hitting those crazy shots. And that's exactly what they need. Her to make a play to fire up the team. Is it enough to get them into overtime in this grand final map three? Almost kind of crazy thinking about it. So many big moments. So many wild times. For it to settle down in this way, for something else entirely. Hazel missing a shot, uncharacteristically so aggression in towards mid. Vilga with a double kill. Josh, is this it? Oh, this is this where Russian forces shut down the Chinese dream? Hazel winning them the last round, and now she might just lose it because of this whiffed op shot. You need to be on point if you want to push this through, and Rush was punishing oh, it. Can he? Beautiful, pushing absolutely it off B. beautiful. Look at Ailey as well, up in towards Palace. Smoke comes out. The push 129 back. Josh, it's a 5v2. A 5 versus 2. They've got a minute to work with, but they're pushing into a site with three players there, ready and waiting, locked and loaded. Russian forces the prime opposition at this point. No single weakness, no opportunity given. Just a team raring to push this one over the line. As we hit 45 seconds, 1 to 9 peaks out. Ailey finds a simple headshot. Samo is all that remains. Russian forces, a team who battered it out tooth and nail, qualified through the European event. It took them a while, but they got there in the end, and now they win the land. They are your world champions, Russian forces, the World Electronic Sports Games female champions, and $100,000 in their bank. Oh yeah, in the end, well deserved, but also a great fight by LG, but in the end, well, Rapture was one of the favorites coming into this one, actually expected those damn Canadians to face them in the final, those two teams, the one out of NA qualifying and the one winning the Europe LAN event in Barcelona already putting a fight up against Sweden and back then and then beating them today again to get into the grand final and it was quite a challenge against LLG. They were also shaky already but just think about this, Russian forces, they lost against Vivokit and LLG on one map and LLG themselves almost got knocked out by Steris so they could actually pick up their only point in the group stage and still wanted to move a huge comeback in overtime as well. What an incredible run these ladies have had. Here they come, entering the stage now to grab their trophy. They worked long and hard to get this. Like you said, it was a tough qualifier run, but they pulled through in Europe and they pulled through here as well. They flew to China, they made it happen. They are your champions. Well deserved, the roster full of talent and especially looking at Bilga who always has been performing so smart and strong with this team together with Antika who was a star in this lineup coming into this and then enabling players like Ailey as an entry, fitting everyone in their role, Candy finding her consistency, consistency and also having really strong performances, the talent to always show up online but offline was inconsistent, whipping a lot of shots but here she showed up Nastia as well, because she was the one I was criticizing against Team Sweden. Really shaky, leaving gaps on the A side on Inferno as well. And in this last match, she was the one to work with the team. I think Vilga has to be given so much credit right now, taking this team from the bottom. And look at them now, revitalizing some of these players, effectively the catalyst for this newfound talent. I mean, the story there, Josh, it really is quite something, a profound oh, yes. tale. But I mean, let's, let's not forget the team they went up against. The Chinese representatives, LLG, they put in one hell of a fight. Just getting to the finals was female CSGO history in it. It wasn't just them being lucky or having having some good rounds and getting confidence out of that. They also worked hard. They knew how to position, how to play their game, how to throw in the nades, how to play as a team, how to take the tactical pauses. So much they added to the game to, in the end, make it here. There you have it, folks. The tail of the World Electronic Sports Games concludes. You've joined us here every step of the way from region